what you call the outer court, right here, and then we have the holy place, and then behind the veil we have the most holy place. In the outer court we have a fountain right here that represents the blood. Then we have a uh, the, the lava that, that, with a base of water that represents the word. And then inside the holy place we have in the table of showbread we have the altar of incense, incense and the golden candlestick. And then behind the veil we have the mercy seat and the ark of the covenant. Now we are going to look at each piece one by one. I'm not sure if I'll be able to grab two pieces on a particular week, but I know that each week we're going to uh, look at what each piece of furniture means to the, for the church today. Touch yourself and say, I am the church. I am the church. And so what we began last week, which I'm going to uh, see if I could conclude this, this area of this massive fountain that is in the entrance of the tabernacle. This massive fountain dominated the entrance. Why? It dominated the entrance because it represented the blood. Everybody say the blood. The blood. So I'm going to be talking to you today about the blood. Yeah. Everybody say the blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. So here we go with this massive fountain. It dominated the entrance of the tabernacle. Amen. Blocked the door. Because you cannot get to any of the other piece of furniture until you get to the blood. Amen. Come on, children of the living God. Amen. You can't get to the Word. You can't get to the Holy Ghost. You can't get into the very heart the, of the presence of the holiness of God until you have come to the blood. Amen. Amen. Come on, children of the God. So he's coming because without the shedding of blood, there is no remission of sin. There is no remission of sin. If you want God to come through on your behalf, you better get to the blood. Amen, 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 amen. Thank you, Lord God. So that's what we're going to look at, the blood, the fountain that was filled with blood. Now, now, this, this, this altar is called the brazen altar. What was seven and a half feet square and four and a half feet tall was a massive fountain that dominated the entrance. It was covered with brass. It was polished so brightly that you could see yourself in it. Amen. Amen. It, what did I just say? It was covered so brightly that you could. In other words, when you have the blood of Jesus applied to your life, yes. when you are in trouble or you've made a mistake, the blood of Jesus shows you up. Are you hearing what I'm saying? The blood of Jesus is so bright and so powerful that you've got to feel guilty. Come on now. And it's 